Hi guys, I'm Mr. Fed. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This will probably be the last video in this series where we look at, you know, our wager journey throughout the NFL 2023-2024 season. Uh, the conference games are finished. We know who our Super Bowl contenders are going to be. So we did place a small wager on the conference round. So we will go back in this video. We'll revisit that to see if it came through for us. After that, I've been keeping a record of my total stake and total return throughout, this, throughout the NFL journey. So we'll have a look to see how much we staked and how much return we got to see whether I came out on top across the totality of the season. So without further ado, let's get into the Bet365 app and um, have a look to see how we did. Hi guys, so here we are in my Bet365 app. Now we did place a small wager on the Detroit Lions in the conference round. Um, I did sense there was a potential upset there and for all intensive purposes it did look like an upset. Now we did actually get a return of £36.50 on that bet so we tripled our money on the Detroit Lions despite the Detroit Lions actually losing that game. Bet365 have a, um, a, uh, an offer where they will pay out, regardless if the team lose, if they go up by more than 17 points. Detroit Lions did go up by 17 points, so we did get our return, but they went on to lose that game in the second half. So, got a bit fortunate there, but I think you make your own luck. You've got to be in it to win it. So, you know, that was a, that was a good stake, good return for us. Now we're going to have a look at um, my total overall stake return throughout the 2023-2024 season. Let's see how we did. So here we got our guys. I mean, I just, quite basic really, I just use a notepad to sort of keep hold of um, what, what I'm wagering each week on the NFL and what my return is. Now the second figure down here, you'll see 150 slash zero. So that 150 wasn't actually a weekly bet. That was actually my season long bets. This year, for the first time, I decided to put on some season long bets and I put £50 on Jalen Hurts winning the MVP. I put £50 on the Eagles winning the Super Bowl and I put £50 on the Eagles winning the NFC East. Now, despite the Eagles jumping off to a terrific 10 and 1 start, those bets look great and I should have really cashed out while I was ahead. Um, as we all know, the Eagles went on to lose six of their next seven games and those bets actually fell off a cliff edge. So we didn't get any return for those season long bets, despite initially them looking very, very promising indeed. Um, the rest of the, the season is self-explanatory. So, you know, as I said, not a massive gambler. We just play small stakes per week. Um, we can see we've got some pretty decent returns in the first week, £40 stake 116 return and also a little bit further down 55 pound stake and 235 pound return outside of that there are a few zeros but most of the other weeks kind of sort of cancelled themselves out really so no massive win or loss either way uh the total there at the bottom so this year we staked 1116 pounds and our return is 946 so we did actually make a loss this year of 170 pounds now that isn't actually too bad if you consider i staked 150 pounds on the season long bets which didn't come through for me or if i had cashed out when they were looking really really good that actually would only be a 20 pound loss potentially a profit really so we just missed out um there that's perfectly fine it was a hell it was a lot of fun this year um you know there were some really really good games decided by a field goal um so yeah it adds to the excitement it adds to the banter me and my friends do it all the, um sort of do it every year so um with that loss not too bad we can try again next year um so in four nfl seasons that i've been doing this i've been keeping track if we go up here we can see the 2020 season uh, stake 391, return 376, only loss of 14. 2020-21 season, uh, stake 913, um, return 743. So that was, again, another loss of 170. Last year, didn't fare too bad at all. Stake 1380 and a return of 1348. So that was only £32 down there. So we're literally only a couple of probably bets, field goals away from being able to sort of turn this... 
uh, into a profit. So overall, over four seasons, a stake of 3,800 and a return of 3,439 with a loss of 360. So perfectly reasonable, perfectly affordable and a lot of fun and a lot of pub banter as well. Um, but next year, the season starts again, I think in September, we're going to have another crack at it. So there we have it, guys. That is, kind of brings us to the end of the NFL 2023-2024 uh, season and our wager journey throughout that season. Slightly down this year, not major, um, but, you know, a lot of fun and a lot of discussion points. I did start these videos a little bit too late. My plan for next year is to start these videos at week one. Um, so hopefully I'll get better in my delivery um, and uh, you can stick around and perhaps have a chit chat, post in the comments. What were your thoughts about the conference round? What are your thoughts about our Super Bowl contenders? And are you even watching the Super Bowl? Are you pacing any wages on the Super Bowl? Let me know in the comments. Um, so we will, this will probably be the last one of these videos in this in the series. I'll continue to post some bass playing videos, um, other content might be uh, Nintendo, um, another sort of passion of mine, um, trying to make slight improvements to the channel. Um, I do actually now have a tripod, so I'm actually sitting on a sofa rather than on the floor with my phone stacked on the top of a load of Wii U games. So baby steps, and um, hopefully we'll see you in the next one.